April San Pedro and it's been a while since my last post. If you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you find something interesting from one of my videos. If you're not so new here, thank you so much for patiently waiting and I'm so sorry for being so inconsistent for the past few um, months. I think since this year started, I haven't been posting consistently. But right now, I want to share with you a video about Ferris Wheel Press because I just got this um, ink and fountain pen and I want to share them with you. So first off, um, this got me really so excited. Uh, my brain was so dead for the past few months. But when I found an email from Ferris Wheel Press that I got into their Creative Ambassador program, I was so excited because it was just so timely that I was looking for, I was online browsing for fountain pen, for inks, and I've used, I bought um, some of the inks before from Ferris Wheel, and I really love their inks. And so when I got the email, I'm one of their creative ambassadors, I got so I got really excited. Having said that, I want to share with you their latest products which just launched last September 1. If you're watching this and you got interested with the colors or the fountain pen or some of their products, I suggest you better check their website right away because they sold out pretty much fast. Um, also, I'll have a discount code for you which you can have a 10% off from your uh, product. Alright, let's semi-unbox these babies. And if you're like me, who's a sucker for beautiful packaging, I would say kudos to Ferris Wheel Press because they're one, they have one of the beautiful packaging that I've seen, especially for fountain pen inks or for all of their products. I believe for every ink or every product that they have, they have a different artwork for the packaging. So imagine the effort that they've put into just for the packaging alone. Also, I may a bit uh, a little geek when it comes to the printing. Uh, so if you will notice, you can see there's also a gold foil on the cover. So it's not just um, a flat print, but there's also a gold foil effect on the packaging. So I believe it's different from different products. So like this one, this doesn't have a gold foil except for this one. But for the design or for the artwork itself, it's just a flat print. But the paper, I would say, is a bit um, pearlescent or reflective or yeah, pearlescent is probably the right term for it because I can see some of the art artworks are a bit shiny. Also for the printing, it's blind embossed. So imagine just for the packaging alone, they spend so much effort for that. So what more for the product itself? So anyway, enough with the packaging. <laughs> Let's start off with the fountain pen first. Uh, so basically I'm a newbie or a beginner when it comes to fountain pen. I only have few fountain pens in my collection and they're pretty much le entry level so I think this is probably one of my most <laughs> expensive fountain pen already so I'm quite excited to use this because um, I've seen some of the videos how smooth it writes and of course I'm pretty sure it goes well with the ink as well so for the box just like um, the ink the logo itself has a gold foil in a semi-blind emboss and this one or the fountain pen they call it the carousel fountain pen this one is pretty much uh i think a partner with this ink what i like about this is it already comes with a converter so if you buy their fountain pen inks you don't have to worry about um, buying a converter anymore because it comes with the packaging already okay so this is the ferris wheel press fountain pen so the colors i think 
they would call it beanstalk brilliant beanstalk just like their ink the weight is really very light so the material is made of plastic so it's just very light um, and the nib is in medium tip and if you notice there's a carving on it too so here's the converter so it's pretty convenient especially um, for the user so we will try this one on later Okay, the next one is the fountain pen ink, which is the Cabernet on the lake. Um, so just like what I said a while ago, these two colors really remind me of early Christmas. Um, I have few projects that I have in mind, uh, so I'm quite excited to show it to you. Oh, also what I noticed, um, what a very good um, design packaging aside from the artwork itself. So this one is actually one of their branding that kind of looks like the cap or the lid of their fountain pen inks. Since there's like a hole on the cover, it's so easy to open, which is kind of to me um, smart. Um, it looks nice and functional at the same time. Oh, it's really a good packaging design. <laughs> then comes the bottle. Okay, so I also like how they brand or they package their bottle. Um, it's so sleek. The bottle is so thick, so you don't have to worry if you get an accident, drop it off. Uh, on the table or something like that so it's kind of sturdy so you don't have to worry about that okay so this is actually the color of the cabernet on the lake so this one is a 38 ml it's bigger than this one this one is 20 ml you notice there's already a glitter um i'm not sure if this is their signature ink but the one that i bought from them before it's called april showers i also noticed there are glitters or like a shimmer a sheen they may call it um on it so let's try this also reminds me of red wine does the name covered me okay so let's open the other one it's called brilliant beanstalk so like i said a while ago this one is a in 20 ml and just like the 38 ml the top box comes with a hole which is there actually looks like the, the signature lid or the cover or the the lid of their bottle which made it easy for you to open and this one comes in a circle jar which is kind of looks so cute like a magic potion or something <laughs> and then comes with the shimmer so like this one Okay, so for the Brilliant Beanstalk, there is a description here which says the base color is green, the sheen is not applicable. Like I mentioned a while ago, I'm still new to fountain pen and inks. So let me check on the, what sheen actually means. So the shimmer is actually champagne. So this one. So, and the shading is very high. And they also suggest that you rinse your pens thoroughly every time you change your inks. And I believe not just when you change your inks, but every time you're actually done with your ink. So these are the two um, fountain pen inks. This one is called Cabernet on the Lake and this one is called the Brilliant Beanstalk together with their fountain pen. Okay, so now we're done unboxing. This part, which is what I'm quite excited more, is to try it out or to test out the colors. So I have here with me a cardstock tag. Uh, this one comes in a 250 GSM and the texture is a bit semi-matte. So it doesn't really have um, so much tooth or texture on it, but pretty much enough um almost the same as your usual notebook except for the hobonichi or the midori type of paper or the traveler's notebook 
So I want to try this one out uh, to swatch the ink. So let's start with the Brilliant Beanstalk. And I'm just shaking it off first so the shimmer will combine with ink. Hold on, I want to put on the paper first, just in case we might spill anything. So like I said a while ago, the bottle, this one is a bit, it's like um semi, it's like a bolt. It's heavy, it's sturdy, but good enough to um, secure your ink. So just in case you're a bit worried, you might drop it off or something, it's pretty much sturdy. Wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, this one is a bit dry now, but I noticed the moment I brush the ink on the tag, um, the shimmer is actually showing off right away as you can see um and there's a bleed at the back so i'm thinking this paper may not be suitable for this kind of ink so i'm gonna try a different kind of paper which is my pandagdag journal uh this is where i swatch my inks so as you can see these are some of the ferris wheel inks that i have um and so i want to try it here and check how it goes well with this kind of paper since my this kind of paper is suitable with fountain pen inks now the shimmer here is really really visible it's kind of like green with gold uh, I won't be using this one because this i use different materials technically with this i should have used a swab and for this one is the brush and this one is for the uh just the drip and this one is for shading so later we'll try this one with the fountain pen but for now i'm just gonna use the ink or the brush in the swab okay so next one let's try the cabernet lake so I still want to try this paper, although it doesn't really work uh, well, but I still want to try this with this one. Oh wow, that does really look like a red wine. So as you can see, as the ink dries, you can really see the shimmer also dries as well so i would really say this kind of paper doesn't really match um the ink so we'll try it here so if you notice the shimmer i think this is the reason why they really um suggest that you clean your pen thoroughly once you change your ink so I think this is how dark it can get and look how beautiful that is. Oh. There you go. So this is how dark it can get and as you can see, or I'm not, I don't think it's showing off but um, it's really dark but there's a glitter or a shimmer on it and for this one, this is probably how light can show you so it will um, show differently when it when you use different medium like if you're gonna use a glass pen or a fountain pen even with fountain pen in different nib points so it's gonna look differently or how dark it will get now we've tried it we've tried swatching it I want to try it on fountain pen this time so before I was actually curious how you would choose the color for your fountain pen unless of course you're really 
uh, attracted to the colors but i've seen fountain pen collectors with various colors so not just like if they're into yellow or into green so they tried out different colors for the fountain pen and of course if the certain color for that brand is available but what i noticed though is upon watching some of the fountain pen so i i kind of like watching um pen and ink swatching uh so what i noticed is they actually use the same almost the same color uh ink for their pen so i'll be doing that with this so since this one is for is the same color as the um brilliant beanstalk so i'm gonna use it with this one and for the cabernet on the lake i don't have a red fountain pen yet but what i do have is this jane davenport um fountain pen so this one is pretty much used for uh drawing jane davenport is an australian artist and she used this for sketching um for multimedia journaling so this one is actually a good kind of fountain pen this is the first fountain pen that i had because it was used for sketching instead of writing so <laughs> uh yeah get the idea now let's refill this converter so if you're actually new to fountain pen converters in general um there are different kinds of converter some inks or some fountain pen you can actually refill your um pen using the nib you just dip it on the bottle uh some have converters um i'm not like i said i'm a newbie to this one so i'm not sure if you can use this with your nib or there's a certain pen that you can use the nib alone but in my case i'll be just using the converter because i don't want to risk the nib okay so first off make sure that it is at the tip part here so the moment you twist it it's like you're opening the valve and that's where the ink comes in so this is as far as we can get and now you just have to press it so you just have to press it closely to the well i think the body or the head part of the fountain pen and then just attach the body what i would do is i will try it on a scratch of paper first so i do have another green in my fountain pen ink and this one is really nice so what i had before is the morning side collection and this is what it looks like and this one is i think a lighter version of this and i kind of like this color okay so this one is good so i'm gonna try it on here and then and then i'm gonna try it with shading so this one is with the first layer then the second one with the second layer third box with the third layer so this is how dark it can get and then let's try writing with it okay so i'm gonna zoom in a little just so you can see so this is how it looks like you can see the shimmer how beautiful that is but when you write on it it doesn't really show that much here so we'll experiment more with this one and i like how it turned out actually so the next one is we will try the cabernet on the lake i'll be using a different fountain pen with this but pretty much uh almost the same converter except that this one doesn't twist but you push and pull uh the lever so just like a while ago you just have to make sure that the um tip one is at the top 
or at the opening side and once you're trying to refill just pull it up if in the long run you're gonna run out of ink or it's gonna be too hard to refill the ink because it's at the bottom part of your bottle you can just use a syringe to refill your converter or your fountain pen I believe this one is at with the medium tip also oh wow this is also nice okay so if you notice I'm trying to put on the lid or the cover and then remove it also because I like the heavy feeling of having the lid of the fountain pen so with this one it just fits right because the material is very light so if you put the cover or the lid at, at the back of the pen the weight just feels right when you're writing but with this one since the pen is made with um, a metal material putting the lid at the back or at the back of the pen makes it feel heavy so i just remove it okay, for the close-up here you can see the shimmer so this one is a bit is darker so if you prefer a darker shade ink, this one is really cool. So it's close to, the video is showing it differently, but it's kind of close to a, like a fuchsia color if it's on the paper. But I think on the video, it's looking like a maroon. But on the paper, it's closer to fuchsia. Alright, so that's about it friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope I was able to entice you to, to uh, check out their new fountain pen inks and the fountain pen as well. Um, so if you find this fancy or if you're still looking for other colors, Ferris Wheel Press has a lot of colors that you can choose from now i will link everything below together with the website and the discount code which you will get 10 percent off on your purchase and i may say um their shipping is really efficient uh if you're living in the philippines they use fedex so um i did not pay for any extra charge for the custom or tax so i think that one is actually a plus thing i would really suggest that you go ahead and check their website now so all right um thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or whatsoever i would really be happy to answer them for you all right see you again on my next video friends bye